So I just recently bought the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. The reason why I'm making this video is because I personally couldn't find a review dumbed down enough for someone like me. Hence the title, welcome if you feel the same like I do. I vlog sometimes, I'm not a big vlogger, but I vlog for myself to watch back one day. I have minimum effort in my editing, in my marketing skills, in my reach to engage with audiences. I'm just my hobby is content creating that reflects on the stuff that I buy. I am very, very interested in all the equipment. But when I was researching about it, it was all very, um, once you buy it, then don't forget to color grade. And once you buy it, uh, also buy this thing. It wasn't like a full on yes or no for this. If you buy the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, make sure you buy the whole combo set because having this little, this tripod is super super handy having extra batteries for it is super handy the microphones are amazing then i also got a whole i don't know if you can see rubbery thing that goes around it because it is very very flimsy it's very light so wherever you place it in the netherlands for example where it's super windy it is going to fall down it's just heavier on the top which makes it from, like way much easier for it to fall so get a protective case and I also got like a little screen protector for both screens. So I have the Sony Alpha 7C. I use a lens that doesn't really resonate to how beautiful the quality of the videos are. But like I said, I only do it for hobby and I only want one lens that suits me. And a 20 to 40 Tamron is just perfect for if I want any portraits or street um, or wide angle for these videos, for example. This is great. So I'm used to amazing, amazing, just detailed quality in my videos. I've also used the Sony ZV-1, which is amazing in my opinion. The videos that I see on YouTube do not really reflect how not great the quality and the detail that comes out of this unless you color grade after. I don't know how to color grade. I'm not interested in learning. I'm a very dumbed down version of, I want everything to just like hit the button and work. What I am amazed by is how the gimbal works. I love, 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 love that I can record anything with this and it just looks like drone footage compared to my a7c, my zv1, the mark 1, the stabilization just isn't the best. Not even the best, there's just no stabilization basically. So every time I'm making a video, I need to be still. This is an amazing thing and what I've kind of like done now with all my stuff, I put my zv1 down in the closet, I'm actually selling it. I use my a7c or my beautiful camera as just like a still videos like this where I can speak to you and I don't move too much and anything that requires me making a beautiful landscape video where I'm not particularly in it I think this is really really great if you do want to see the difference watch my last video where like the title literally says trying out the Osmo Pocket 3 At the beginning of the video I start using this and then throughout the end I use my a7c and you see such a big difference in quality in terms of like seeing my face but definitely something really smart for b-roll for example and I'll use this camera for a-roll I wish there was more settings in terms of that you can make like a set filter that you want to use on this maybe it is possible I'm not sure exactly how if you do know comment down below I also wish there was an ND filter in this thing because it's just always overexposed. So if you don't have a camera yet and you're thinking of getting something and you're not expecting too much, definitely get this thing. It's amazing. If you want like bokeh and you want like crisp videos, yeah, it's that's it's not it. I personally, and I only do this for hobbies, I prefer this as a bonus tool to make great videos, but it's not my main. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you think, if it's great or not. I'm actually here to tell you that don't fall too much for the marketing right now. Everyone's like hyping up the GGI Osmo Pocket 3. I'm saying research a little bit more into it because I definitely feel like I fell a little bit for the marketing. Again, watch the latest video so you can actually see the difference. And I hope you enjoyed this honest review.